2017 Arthur Round, congratulations. How'd you make it this far? Was it the plant that helped? I took LSD in 1962, so that helped more than anything. But yeah, did the marijuana help? Yeah, probably. Somebody asked me if I had the choice of any drug and I could only have one, what would it be? And first I said LSD and then I thought about it and I said, wow, I use grass every day. Maybe I better be honest to myself and say that grass is the one that I would want if I could only choose one. Yeah, and why is that? What, what does the cannabis do for you that enables you to get through the day? Well, it, it, it brings uh, something of interest. It, it incites your interest. It, it increases your curiosity. Uh, it uh, focuses you. You know, you might find something that was just obvious that you didn't know but all of a sudden you take a puff and then it, you realize what you really should be doing and you correct yourself. I mean, I was driving, I was driving in dense fog and, and, and drizzle at 70 miles an hour on cruise control and I decided to have a puff. And so uh, then when I had a puff, I realized I'm going too fast. Slow down, get off cruise control, turn on the windshield wipers, put on the seat belt, turn on the headlights, Slow down, you know, I mean, all of these things that I was doing wrong that was corrected just by taking a puff. Isn't that amazing? Because it your, clarifies your focus. Yeah. Your inhibitions are eliminated because you're able to see the truth of what's in front of you rather yeah. than the distractions of the mind. And that's because cannabis... <laughs> cannabis acts upon that prefrontal cortex, yeah. which is the conductor of the symphony in your brain. Cannabis enables us to think more clearly and access the different areas of our brain and tie yeah. it together. The fact that it does help us in, in our prefrontal cortex uh, use of our neurology, that's really important. That, that's the part of the brain that does our planning, it helps us do our planning. It's my birthday, I'm sorry, it's my Peace birthday. Well then you need a hug. Thank you. You need to hug this guy. The average Arthur Round. Arthur Round, yeah. Famous old hippie. Ever heard of the Oracle newspaper? In the summer of love, they had a newspaper, a street sheet called the SF Oracle. He worked on the, on the Oracle. Also, he was with the family dog who put on a bunch of concerts back in the 60s when they were tripping on acid and shit. He was taking acid back in 1960. He just told us on camera he was taking LSD in 1962 when it was legal. And it wasn't until 1966, as we all know, that they scheduled it. That hasn't stopped the drug. <laughs> Never stop. Can't stop that shit. So are we still live? Straight yeah, love. 420. Yes. Straight love. Yes. He said it was a bunch of smoke last year, like there this year. Feet, straight the, love. The smoke That's was it. 500 feet thick, as high as those trees. Happy birthday! Thank you. It's my birthday, everybody. Happy hey. birthday. Thank you. I love y'all. All so love. anyway, thank All you. Love. So you this see. is really a nice event, and the the city has somehow allowed us to just have a free party here today. There's been people tried to put on a summer of love event that have been unable to get a permit, you know, and a sound permit. And yet this thing is able to go on pretty freely. Let's hope that we are able to clean up after it, that there's no real issues that cause negativity in the press because it's a pretty positive event. Well, and not just that, they're promoting, actively promoting positivity in no uncertain terms. I heard them say on stage, we are 99.9% .9 all the same. Don't forget, positivity is the message we are here to spread. Love is our religion, and cannabis is our vehicle to access our connection to all that is.